Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace. If you are new here, I put out new videos every Thursday surrounding my fitness journey, more specifically over at Orange Theory Fitness. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe before you leave this video. I would love for you to be a part of the Keller Crew. So today's video is all about what I eat after my Orange Theory workout. I found that when I first started, I didn't plan ahead and so when I came home from Orange Theory if you do any type of high intensity workouts then you completely will understand what I am saying you are starving you have that afterburn and so you're still burning calories and it's just consuming everything and so you need to eat I found myself just grabbing like the like anything that I could see the quickest thing the yummiest thing and most of the time it wasn't the best thing for me I decided to try something a little bit different and start pre-prepping some breakfast meals now I do orange theory at 5 in the morning but this can work for whatever time you go today's video is going to be post workout breakfast meals all of the recipes and all of the directions will be in the description below if you are interested and if you want to feel free to follow me on Instagram I also post on my my stories, what I eat throughout the days, what I eat throughout the weeks, and every once in a while I'll put a recipe on there so feel free to follow me on that as well. All of these recipes are going to be gluten free and dairy free. Alright, without further ado, let's dive right in. Alright you guys, so I'm going to start out with the breakfast tacos. Like I said, these are gluten free so I am using a corn tortilla and I am just going to go ahead and warm up all the tortillas first while the eggs are cooking. I went ahead and pre-cut three pieces of aluminum foil and three pieces of wax paper I learned this from my friend Alicia who has a video out where she pre-prepped some breakfast burritos and it helped for them not to get soggy so I am giving it a try. I am adding some leftover Spanish rice and then I am going to add my egg. This is where it would be good to add some cheese, some breakfast sausage, maybe some bacon or some ham. For me, I like it plain and simple, so I just wanted the rice and the egg, and then I add salsa to it when I go to eat it. So I just wrap it up in the foil, put it in the baggie, get all of the air out, and then I will put these in the freezer. What I usually do is I will take the burrito out of the freezer the night before, let it thaw in the fridge, and then pop it in the oven when I am ready to eat it. It takes about five minutes to heat up. The second recipe is going to be overnight oats. Now I've done a video on this one before, but this is a different recipe because I am dairy free, so got some different ingredients in it. I have my gluten free oats, my milk, which is silk almond milk, unsweetened. And then what I do is I add about a quarter of a banana chopped into little pieces. And then I will add my blueberries, my chia seeds, my honey, and some cinnamon. Once all of those ingredients are together, I will just whisk it up really well and then put it in a mason jar. And later on, I'll put an airtight lid on it and pop it in the fridge.
right, and this last recipe is to go hash brown egg cup. Okay, so for this one, I did pull a recipe, but I ended up ditching it halfway through and just kind of doing my own thing. So I went ahead and got a bag of hash browns, put two and a half tablespoons of olive oil and some black pepper and mixed that together. While my sausage was cooking, I went ahead and lined my tray with parchment paper to help them not to stick to the bottom. And then I placed the hash browns in the bottom of the muffin tin and packed it in. That went into the oven for about 15 minutes until they got golden brown. And then I went ahead and chopped up my green pepper into fine little dices. I only used about half of the pepper because I only used half of the recipe. I did about six eggs for this recipe. I went ahead and cracked them and then scrambled them up. And then you want to add about one fourth of a cup of water to the egg mixture and then I went ahead and added the sausage and the green peppers. Now instead of cheese, I just added more hash brown to the mixture because again, I did not want to have dairy. Then when the hash browns are ready, you're just going to pour the egg mixture into the hash brown cup. You're gonna lower your oven to 350 degrees and then bake them for another 16 to 18 minutes until the eggs are done. I initially started with 13 minutes and ended up giving it another three to four minutes once the timer went off. And there you have it guys, those are the hash brown to go egg cups. I added sausage and green pepper and they were delicious. My son and I have enjoyed them thoroughly. Alright guys, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was beneficial for you, that you took something away. Remember, those recipes are in the description below. Feel free to copy them, screenshot them, do whatever you need. If you make any of these recipes, feel free to tag me on Instagram so I can take a look and see how yummy they are. All right guys, if you liked this video, give it a big uh. thumbs up. It really supports my channel and don't forget to subscribe if you liked this content, if this is something that you are looking for. All right, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. Yeah. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check, no drip this what? Tell him run it up, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die stretch, tell him run it up. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check, no drip this.